I want to give you a closer look at this lamp today. Uh, it First of all, I have this set up as a floor length lamp. And so if you choose to do that, you will insert this piece into the base for the added length. If not, then if you want this to be a desktop length, you will simply insert this directly into the base so that it will be more of a desktop length. Uh, that's really all the assembly that's required. You'll just tighten those with these bolts right here. Uh, well, zoom in, camera. So uh, just thought I would show you how adjustable the lamp is, first of all. So let me set my camera down here. All right, so uh, you will unscrew this. There's a little screw back here, if you can see that. And then that will just loosen this enough so that you can adjust it, raise it up and down. We'll go all the way down, go all the way up. So I'm gonna leave it right about there and tighten it. Also, this will swivel. So whatever direction you want, that will swivel for you also. And then the entire thing will swivel as well without the base moving. And also, this uh, neck here is adjustable. So if you're working, you really just want to zoom right in close, because you have this little window, of course, here. And you're really wanting to get close. You can raise that, or lower that, and raise it just as well. So here is a look at the light. And what's really cool about this is by simply touching these little arrows, you will adjust the brightness of the light as well as the color. So what I mean by color is um, you can go from a more white, uh, slightly bluish tint to a more warm yellow glow, depending on your mood or whatever you're doing. So let me see if I can do this here with one hand. So there, something on my hand. There is the light now. I'm going to try to touch this and hold the camera at the same time. So there we go. You can see it's changing right now. So that's going to adjust the brightness of it. There we go, up and down. And then that's going to adjust the warm the warmness of the glow. So, let's see. There is the most yellow right there. Now, it's even more yellow in camera, but um and then we're going to go back to the more of a white glow. And here we go. So there's a big difference there. Um, so of course that depends on your mood uh, or what you are working on. Uh, I like to I really enjoy using this for manicures. And I also uh, am a bit of an artist. I make uh, food out of polymer clay and other miniature items, but food in particular. So it's really great to... Um, Keep this under here and I can really see what I'm working on. It, it shows the texture much better and I can see the little imperfections and the little um, flecks of dirt and things that I can't see with the naked eye. So it's very helpful and comes in very handy for people like me. Um, if you have, hard, have a hard eyesight or eyesight issues um, or anything like that, it's just great for working on things up close. And so I definitely recommend the light. I think it's great. Um, almost, a, you know, industrial type light, very sturdy. There's absolutely no negatives about the light at all. I absolutely love it.